Alright, so this time I'm gonna be talking and commentating like I usually do. I didn't do it on the last two games, uh, or should I say last two videos. So this time I'm gonna try you new. No, no. This guy has 263 prowess. K prowess. I'm gonna be so done. This guy doesn't have so much. I should have went for one. One has. Oh. Uh, see, this is why I don't like sidestepping this game. Ooh, I shouldn't have pressed. You got me, then I'm dead. I mashed one and one plus two to see if I can break it, but if I already messed up there, I won't be able to do anything. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. There we go, got him. When he, she does her string that goes into the this right here, okay, you can punish it like that. And I messed up, of course, because the connection. I knew he was going to do that. This is how you actually go for the combo. <laughs> I hate how moves just... <laughs> there we go. There we go. I hate how when you try to step moves and they still hit you, when you even when you made the right read. There we go. Ah, oh, okay. That's not the right read. Nice. Ah, uh, that would. Oh, she went for a pirate crash. Caught her. I hit my mic. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. I might need to get a new mic for 100% because I hate having one right near my face. Okay, little safe option. I, I pressed back one plus two. I should have went for. Oh, that was the wrong punish. There we go. That's the right punish right there. Oh, I could have launched. Brain traps. That should have punished her. I sidestepped that you see guys Okay There we go got him I had to use up my cane though you only have one try with that cane the pimp cane Ah yeah yeah got caught she ended up ducking the high Nice Okay, I, I need to stop creating and backdashing. Nice attempt to grab me. Oh, I ended up going for Korean backdash, so I crouched. 
keep sidestepping my catcher. Nice. Is that not punishable? Like, is that like a launch punish or no? I could have gotten her. Th oh! No! There we go, got her. Don't plug on me. Yes. All right, I got lucky a couple of times, I think. Though I did made some decent reads against the June, but there were a couple of times that I just messed up. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Why is that popping up on my uh, Streamlabs OBS? Though that scared me so hard. I'm gonna have to turn that off. Okay, uh, UK, attack. Okay, now he's attacking, good. Oh. Ah, uh, the mix-up game. I, yeah, I messed up there. I'm so rattled by the Streamlabs OBS subscribe thing. It came up out of nowhere. Wait. Nice. That was the wrong move to go for, and he really went for it. Whoa, that gives him a launch? No, could have launched him. There we go. Okay, I need to be careful here. Nice launch. He knew I was going to go for a low. There we go. He went for a side step. There we go. I thought for certain this time it would have got duck. That's not the right combo, though. There we go. I didn't think that was a good way to pick people up. I just went for it. I just, like, uh, try to improvise. Nice. I hate that move so much. Uh, yeah, so you can just spam it. Nice. I went to go for back three again to see if he's gonna sidestep me, but he's now gonna Kempo mash me now. That was luck. I wasn't sure he was gonna do that. That should work. No. I couldn't go for my heat smash? Nice low parry. Damn, I hate Kempo so much. Nice. I hate I hate Fingway so much, man. 
They just love to backpedal with their Kenpo stand, so you can't really do nothing to them. And I'm seeing way too many Fangways now since uh, my Tekken prowess is so high, so the game is just continuously matchmaking me. Okay. Ah, of course. Okay. Nice. No, he messed up there. I I almost thought I was gonna lose. I keep doing that, that's my fault. There we go. There we go, got him. Need to be a little bit more patient with him, need to focus up. Okay, got him. I hate the, the wall. I, he loves to do that. Yeah, I, I hate Fengways. <laughs> you cannot control. See, they, they just love to do that. And I... That was so bad of me. Wow, okay. When you do 1 plus 3, his 1 grab, go for down 1 plus 2. If they end up trying to back away when they're grounded, you can actually hit them with the move. It's a guaranteed move. But if they stand uh, straight up by pressing up, down 1 plus 2 won't work. So I got him. I sidestepped, but no, it caught me. Okay, and this is the issue with, with playing this game. I'm trying to like parry him, but, or sidestep, I, I mean. Ay, ay, ay. Am I not doing the right move? Oh, it's that one. Jeez. Oh, I could have actually punished there. Can I get away out the wall? There we go. There we go. Nope. He forced a mix-up on me to see if he can catch me. Man, how lucky am I? He's being impatient, but now he might start getting patient. Usually at it's usually at this round. I hate one. <laughs> nope. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Nice. 
Yeah, I should have known this guy's gonna go for his rage arm. I got too impatient, and not only that, if since I went for back three, oh, he's, I'm not, I'm not dead, I'm not dead. Nice. Okay, that was my fault. <laughs> Put all my chips on black and I lost. There we go. Okay, I'll law. I'm gonna <laughs> probably get destroyed. Wait, wait, he's actually not as high as he is. Smart. Or maybe I'm wrong? There we go. And of course, it's stupid connection! I don't know if you guys see it, how bad this is. Like, two frames of rollback. I had to look at this guy more closely just to be sure that I'm gonna, gonna get killed. What? Come on. This is gonna be hard. Two frames of rollback. I gotta literally look at this guy. Nice down forward, too. And he knows how to blue spark it? Yeah, I don't trust this guy being an actual new player. 142 prowess and somehow knows how to play law. Unless he's like from second seven. There we go. Was he really going for that? Mm -hmm. I got I got killed here. Man, if only Leroy had more range on any of his stupid moves. Like that move right there, it was like literally close to him. He still whipped. I'm seriously missing up a lot of moves. Your, oh, I forget he has a follow-up on that. Damn, I don't get the promotion then. I mean, if I win the next set, the next match, if I win this one, I can probably still get it. I'm not too sure on any of that. Yeah, so easy to do that. I used up my... There we go. Use up my cane. There we go. No oh, I kind of wanted to see what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's not like a, it's not like an actual power crush, so it doesn't work the same way. There we go. He was gonna go for a low, 100%. He wouldn't have gotten caught by that. Oh, again? I need to turn that off because I'm not even streaming. 
I haven't done any test streams, none of that, so I don't know why he's doing that. Oh my, I should have known, he's not going to do legend kick. Yeah, let me turn that off after this game. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get the promotion. Oh, I will. It didn't look like I was gonna get. That's gonna get many. Blah, 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 blah. I can't speak English. Uh, I didn't think that I was gonna get as many points. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna do this one. Damn it. There we go. Ah, uh, I should have known. Like he has great fundamentals, for, but for a guy that has only 142k prowess, it doesn't make any sense. He's mashing. Doesn't respect. Ah, yeah. I, I bet you that move came out faster in his screen than compared to mine. No, this guy has to be input reading. <laughs> if that low kick he did would have caught me, I would have been so upset. Aw, uh, launch. Oh, he didn't launch me. He doesn't know the launch. Okay, he doesn't know that I can do that. Nice mix. Nope, sorry. You win. Come on, sugar. Time to take out the And he got a promotion match, let's see. Press buttons. Okay, I'm gonna break this. Okay. Get the off the wall. Okay, that was weird. I don't know what just happened there. Is that not steppable? How much tracking does that BS move have? What? Oh, 
Oh, that was a launch. There we go. Nice. I love that move, actually. Uh, I think it's back forward two. Ah, uh, not enough time. Nice bait. Love. Man, I love Lars. Even though I don't like fighting him. But I don't think anybody does. Especially now with the buffs that he's received. It's like it's super, super hard to fight him at times. There we go. Nice bait from me. I'm going to do this. There we go. Perfect, too. Sorry, brother. Does he want to fight me again? Yes, he does. Okay, this guy's a Chad. Let's see how he adapts now. Oh, that was a little bit. Of, oh, little bit of rollback frames here, boys. Oh, nice wall combo. Oh. There's a bit of frames here. Yeah, I see it's... I got good footsies. I was actually waiting for him to do something like that, but then because the connection is getting a little bad. Oh, <laughs> I'm spamming back one plus two. I'm dead here. Yeah, I wasn't sure I was gonna go for a mid, so I ended up flash ducking, but. Or try to flash duck. Nice. Nice. I I never can understand why it is that when when I if somebody blocks my spring kick, they somehow manage. Oh, I won. They somehow managed to launch me, but whenever I try doing it to them, when they spring kick to me and I block it, I can never, I can never um, launch him with a 15 frame move. So I don't understand why that is. Against the, oh, I fought this guy already. All right, hopefully this time I get the Fujin rank already. What? Oh, he gets that for free? Oh, there we go. She's actually adapting on like the last set that we had. Uh, 
I, I don't understand how some moves can be stepped and some moves can't. Nice little parry. Nice. I'm dead here. It's a lucky low parry. Man, he's he's managing to Nice. I'm holding back for the love of God. The guy when God steps and somehow doesn't get hit by the move. I think maybe it's because I'm pressing. I'm literally. Man, he's stepping everything. Nice, finally. Man, I got scared with that little bit of health. Anything he would have done would have hit me. All right, so I managed to hit Fujin with Leroy. I'm super glad that I'm done with Leroy because I do not like playing him, to be honest. But as I was playing him, I started to think to myself, okay, at least once I manage to hit Fujin, I'm going to try to give you guys some, I guess, some guidelines as to what you could do with Leroy. Because I know a lot of players may also feel stuck like I was when I was playing him. So for one, his 1-2-4 is a guarantee string. So if you do find the opportunity to use 1-2-4, use that. And then you go into your Hermit Stance. Once you go into your Hermit Stance, this is plus 3. So you can try Flame Trapping with either 4 or 2. The reason why is that with these two moves... The 4 is 11 frames on startup, and 2 is 12 frames on startup. So since you're plus 3, sorry, plus 3 on this hit, if they try going for the 10 frame move, it will be as if they're recovering from, or going through a startup frames of 13 frames. And since this is 11 frames and this is 12 frames, it's faster. So you can beat them if they ever try to basically force their turn by going with a 1 frame jab. Then next, you could try also doing... 3, 4, and that's it if they are afraid of pressing buttons against you. So if you already conditioned them with the 1, 2, 4, do 3, 4 in order to then continuously apply some low mix-up against them. And you're plus 1 on the last hit of 3, 4. So you can go for a 1, or if they do try to press buttons, you can try stepping them. But seeing how bad stepping in this game is, I mean, people say it's good. It's been buffed, but from my experience, I feel like every move in this game, at least certain moves, do have the ability that you can still step them. But other moves with strings attached to them or forward movements that have like forward two, forward three, whatever, it's so damn hard to step them. But either way, that's not the point. Another thing you can do also, since you're plus three here, if they do try to press any buttons like a high, back four has a bit of high crush. So let's say if we were to make Horang go for, let's see, I think it's from here, yeah? Set it up like this. See? You end up high crushing it with back four. So if they do end up pressing any buttons that's not a mid move, 
you can high crush it with back four. Uh, also, the other thing that I was mentioning during my sets where I've I don't know if I'm gonna either clip it and not actually show it in the actual release of the video. So, because since the video is gonna be too long, it's already like been two hours that I've been recording. So I might just get the best highlights, loot, loss, or wins depending on how good the game was. But one other move you can high crush with, and I forget to use this move often, is down four four. Sorry, uh, uh, down four three plus four. This move is very good at high crushing certain moves, but the problem with this move is, is that during the very start of frames, it's a chance that you can still get clipped by a high move. So it doesn't really matter if this has high crush. So you have to use it right at the beginning of a move, or should I say, use this preemptively. Be more proactive and then use it if you think they're gonna be throwing a high. But if you use it at reaction, like let's say it, as soon as they throw a one, you might get clipped out of doing down four or three plus four. So another thing also to frame trap with other moves, do back three. Back three on hit is plus 13. On block, and let me remove the, the punish, it's plus eight. So if you're plus eight on block, you can try frame trapping with your three, with your two, with your, uh, Wait, did I say three from the beginning? <laughs> I meant to say four, two, and maybe even your three. So you can either use those three options to try to frame trap since you're plus eight with this move. So if they try using a jab of whatever kind, three, four, and two in Hermit Stance will frame trap them. Now the three is a chance that they can still try to use like a low crush move or try to step it, maybe. But... I'm pretty sure that most scenarios you can try to frame trap them with three. Besides that, you do have back one, and I use this a lot when I'm whenever I'm using back three because back three on block and using this, it's not exactly a frame trap because they can still hit you out of doing back three into back one. But I find that a lot of players don't know the overall matchup, so against players around the red ranks and even the ruler ranks, they won't press any buttons. But if you do hit them and do this, this is guaranteed. Or should I say not guaranteed, but this is guaranteed to at least bait them into an attack. So if they attack while they're hit, then likelihood you get a counter hit because this is a counter hit move that launches. But if they don't, then even if they do get hit by the move and they try blocking it, then it's safe. Because it's plus four on block. As you see right there. So it's plus four, so you can try using moves like down forward one. This is 13 frames. You can use your one, two, one to use against them as well. And your down forward four, if you want to use down forward four. But this forces you into Hermit Stance. So you got to either use down forward four into three. But it's minus nine. It's, it's safe. You can block it if they attempt to attack you right in return. But you can't steal back your turn when this happens. And one particular type of setup that I figured out is that if they do end up blocking by doing 444, if they press any buttons, you can actually go for one or Hermit Stance while going into back two to exit out of it to parry. If they press any buttons in this situation, you can actually parry them. So as an example, let's say if they were trying to punish me. You see? You can just do that. Well, I did it too <laughs> too early. But in this case, you can actually guarantee yourself with a 1. So you can beat it with that. You can also do this with your down forward 4. And the cool thing about this is if you do end up going for down forward 4 and they try pressing any buttons and you go for back 2 to parry, it goes into the uh, blue spark version of the parry move because this parry if done exactly during the frame of the attack being hit you get the blue spark version but if you do it too late then you just get the regular parry move but in this case I figured out that if you use down forward three sorry down forward four and they block it and they try to punish you with a one and you go for back two it would always be a blue spark so there's one and you can still also go for the one as well if you want that one this one actually gets to hit off because it acts more like a hit grab or hit grab parry. 
So you have that opportunity to use that as well. Then I think the only other thing that I can say is that don't use your strings that go into Hermit Sphinx like down forward 1-4. If you try doing the same method that I just mentioned. Well, in this case, he went to attack. But let's say if I do it from here. Don't step me. See, you can't do it. Not even with the 1. It won't work. If you do 1-2-4. Sorry, 1-2-4. Back 2 doesn't work. And one doesn't work. As you see. So it doesn't really work. It only works if you do forward forward four. Or down forward four. And then you can go for parries. But if they see that you're trying to bait them into that too often. Then they'll just grab you. Because you can't you can block while you're in hermit stance. You got to exit out by either pressing three plus four. Or by pressing up or down to sidestep. To do a special stance step. Which also has... A move which you can do with one plus two that's plus on block at plus seven so you can do stuff like this for example do this and catch him with a frame trap with down forward two into one plus two for a launch but that's if they press buttons if they don't press buttons then if you do that this move here specifically it's minus 18 very punishable one of the things that I also like to do as well is that to tr try to go for a frame trap I try to go for back one plus two but the thing is, is that it's very difficult to get a setup to land this move. So I tend to just use it on reaction when they are, are about to attack me. So I go for back 1 plus 2 since it's 12 frames. So the only logic that I can use to apply some form of frame trap is if, let's say I do this into that, right? So Hermit sends into back 1. If they block it, you're plus 4 and then use back 1 plus 2. You can try doing that. Or, let's see, what else you can try going for. You can also do the one where in Hermit Stance into Sidestep. And do that. But the thing is that since it pushes him away too far away from you, you can't really land the back 1 plus 2. So that's not going to work as often as you want. Yeah, I can do that as well. Basically, any move that's at least plus 2, no, plus 3 to plus 4 on hit or on block, and you're not in Hermit Stance. You can try baiting them into the back 1 plus 2 to get a counter launch. But don't use it as a setup half of the time. Use it more as a reaction. That's the only way you can actually get something out of Leroy's back 1 plus 2. And the last thing I can really say about Leroy besides that is that you remember that you still have your cane scale move that you can use? You only have one at any match. Not in any round. Like, unlike with Heat Burst or Heat in general, you have it at every each round. So if you use it up on the first round, you'll have it in the second round. But with the Kane moves that he has, these moves right here, once you use it, you lost it. You can't do any more with that. You don't get it in the next round, you just lose it completely. So if you use the one by pressing forward 2 plus 3, you get this one, gives you big combos. Get something like that. I don't know if that was the optimal combo route, but either way, you can do that. Or you do this one, which this is your optimal combo route, at least from what I figured out. But the problem with this particular skill is that you can get hit out of it, and if you get hit out of it, or even at the beginning frames of using this move, if they hit you, you lost the cane. You can't use it. So that, that's the one thing I don't like about Leroy. And in fact, I would say a lot of the things, and I'm going to go to the cons of Leroy, is that he has a lot of very short-ended moves that don't reach the target half the time. Like, he has the one-inch punch that, in general, I guess, it makes sense that it just doesn't have much range because it's a one-inch punch. But besides that, moves like, let's say, down 1 plus 2 has very low reach. He has moves like uh, forward forward 1 plus, uh, not 1 plus 2, 2-2. Two, two. A lot of the times it just whiffs. You have moves like forward three, forward two, and even your power crush has a lot of, or should I say, a lot less range when hitting the opponent. And, and that even includes your attacks like this, like your ones, your twos, have a lot of low reach. Then his counter hitting property moves that he has, or his parry moves that are built in, up one or it can be either up one down sorry up back one and even up forward one i think yeah 
This has very low reach, but it acts like a parry. So if they try to attack in you and you use it at the right time, you can hit them with this move. Back one acts like a one inch punch move as well, but it's a high. And it also has very low reach. And you also have your up back two that also has very low reach. And it also has a built in parry mechanic as well that if you do it at the right time. Besides that, a lot of his moves have very low reach. He has terrible lows in my overall opinion. Like he, the only good low from my perspective is his down three, two down three, two on hit is plus eight. So you can frame trap right there. So they can't really do anything against you unless you use a move that has way too many frames. But then if you think about other moves, like let's say his full crouch down forward four into one, this move only works at launching at the opponent if they press buttons. But half of the time, even when you do hit them while they attack you, it doesn't launch them. So it doesn't really have, it has to be basically right on time to get the counter hit to then get the launch. You also have 3-3. Three, three. That's another low, but it's not that great either because it's very telegraphed. The 3 that comes out from there will easily give, give it off or give off the telegraph. That the next hit is going to be the low three. And then you also have down three, uh, sorry, down four, four. That goes into the last hit into Hermit Stance. But the problem with this move is that the last hit is not guaranteed. It's not a true string. And it's minus 11 on block. So if you're minus 11, you can forget about doing anything. You can't parry, you can't sidestep, you can't block. So you're going to get hit off of whatever it is that is going to happen to you at this moment. In fact, because you're in Hermit Stance, they can even grab you out of Hermit Stance. And then you can't break it. Now, of course, on hit, it's plus one. But if it's plus one, it's not, that's not really a good move per se, I would say. The most you can do is maybe go for a clash with four. And that's it. Then he has down back three. Down back three on hit is plus five. So you, again, frame trap while you're doing that move. But on block, it's minus eight. So it's safe, but you don't have opportunities to go for a parry. From what I've noticed, anything that is around minus seven, I think, minus seven or less, you have time to either go for Hermit one or Hermit and then into canceling into back two to parry. Those are your only options if you're minus seven and you're in Hermit stance and less, of course. So that's the only problem that I find with Leroy's movesets, that a lot of his movesets has to be very reactionary. You got to be able to be very conscious of what the next move is going to be coming out. And if you can preemptively react to the move and then get the parries off of the opponent, then you can then get something across. He, he, he relies too heavily on defense for a character that's in a game that tries to be very aggressive. And then his heat state, his heat state only really improvise his multi Wing Chun hitting moves like one plus two. The let's say what was the move again? If it goes into a grounded move, this is also enhanced. Then he has, of course, his heat engages that are in a way enhanced as well. And what else? I'm probably forgetting something else. Oh, yeah. Um, his dog becomes a launcher. And that's it. But I I never use it because it's super slow. Like you you only you're only using it if you want to be funny, I guess, in a match. You can't even set it up. So if you want to use a dog from long range, and then get close enough to the target to go for a some kind of mix up, you can't. It doesn't work that way. And the dog eventually will stop because at certain long ranges, the dog will just simply stop midway. Well, not there for some reason. I don't know why he didn't, he didn't stop there. But you get the point. It would happen in the game. And yeah, I think that's it. There really isn't anything else I can say about Leroy. Leroy is just not really a really good character at the moment. A lot of people can attest to this. The, this character is considered to be very low tier because of the fact that he has very low reach. Poor lows. He's forced into Hermit Stance in certain strings. If you go for the full string, he relies heavily in defense in a game that's very prominent in aggression and basically just being very in-fighter like if that makes sense he plays as if he's steve with all the counter hits like trying to get counter hitting moves but he has low reach so he can't really get what he wants half the time so 
most of your games is going to be forcing yourself to force a mix-up against the opponent while you're trying to go into hermit stance or trying to force frame traps just to be able to do something with Leroy. That is the only thing that I can say about Leroy at this point that he has some level of advantage. He has some matchups where he does exceed in like I can see since a lot of players that play Steve love to throw highs because they want to go for the back ones for counter hits you can then use your parries against them. Other than that I, I will just say that against characters that have really good offense Leroy gets destroyed. So unless they do something to improve his heat state, I, at least his heat state I would guess or bring back some of the useful tools that he used to have or at least the, the properties that he used to have in Tekken 7 this character is going to be bottom forever. But if you like the character, regardless of what I'm saying, and you don't mind that he's a hard character to pick up, because the game labels him as an easy character, but he's not easy. Or should I say, players, they label him as an easy character to pick up, but he's not an easy character. He really does it require some level of work just to play him optimally. And I still don't have, I don't think that I've scratched the surface when it comes to how to properly play him, at least I think. But from what I can tell, at least from now, I somewhat understand how to play Leroy. Just that his playstyle is not for me and the weaknesses that he has on him makes it kind of unfun. But if you like the character, go for it. It doesn't really matter. You can Anybody can really make a character look strong. That's about it. So if you guys like what you watched, please give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more of my shit. And stay tuned.